I'll get in there. A little less. You know what I mean? I, I need that to happen. You see it? Perfect. Okay, that's uh, good now. Okay. Good. Put your hands together for Rabbi Yitzi Herbs. Okie dokie. So, first of all, I'm getting chalamoid. And I just want to tell you that I picked a story that I haven't told anywhere in Crown Heights in maybe 30 years or so. Okay, so I'm not going to give away my total age. So this story starts about the late 1800s, around the 1890s. And we're going to go to this person, Rabbi Chatzkala. And Rabbi Chatzkala was zoiched to have a baby boy, and he was crying away. <laughs> and he was mamsha big simcha and everything. But Chatzkala loved his little boy chick, which he called Mendel. And he called his little boy chick called Mendel, and he started taking him to shul pretty early. And all of a sudden, there was something really strange that took place. Mendel had an affinity. He loved mitzvahs. I want to hold the woolwolf and the ethric. Please, Tati, could I please hold the woolwolf and the ethric? And Haskell said, Yeah, I could let you hold the woolwolf and the ethric, but, you know, there's one thing I got to tell you. You have to be very, very careful because, you know, if you drop the ethric, you know, the ethic, it becomes possible. You break the pit in, you make a dent, you make a damage, you rip off a piece. I'm not going to eat it, Tati. I'm going to look at it. And he picked up the S-ring. He was only one years old. He picked up the S-ring and go, <gasps> Oh, Tati, it smells good. The smell. Oh, what are you doing, Tati? You're shaking a little up. Oh, my. <laughs> you know, I'm very amazed that you're only one years old and you know how to talk pretty good. All right, I hold it together with you. Ready? Shake a little bit like this and rub it like that. And it's amazing, out of all the mitzvahs that he learned to follow up on, this little Mandela had a love for the lulav and the esrit, especially the esrit. Oh boy, did he love that esrit. And year after year, he would look at it. And meanwhile, in another part of the shtetl by the not so religious side of the shtetl, there was this man who was not very nice. And he was very mean, and his name was Vladimir. Yeah. Ah, my wife and I were married for so many years, and we had no children. We have to have some children, at least one. But you know, the doctors say my wife can't have any children, but I want a son. Who's going to inherit everything I got? I have to have a son. Who's going to be that son? <laughs> I know. I'm going to call a gypsy friend of mine. He's very good at getting me things that I need. And sure enough, he sent for his gypsy friend. And his gypsy friend came. I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is there something that I can do for you? <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, something, you know, everything costs money. Go ahead, go ahead, tell me what you want. Go ahead, tell me. It's very simple. My wife and I have no children. 
I want you to kidnap a child. <laughs> you don't be ridiculous. If I kidnap a child, the police are going to follow up on it, and you know they're going to do something to you, even if you're such a rich man like you are. Yes, but I was thinking I had some crazy wild idea. You know, if you kidnap, let's say, a little Jewish child, right? So when I get him and I convince him to be my son, and he can't run away because he's just a little kid. Where's he going to go? Now, if we kidnap this boy, you see, and you bring him to me, I'll move away from here for a while, and I'll bring him up like my own son. He won't know that he's even Jewish as he gets older. He'll be my son. And since he's little, he'll have no idea that he was never born from my wife. <laughs> so what do you say? <laughs> now, that's not bad, because then... Uh, the military police won't do anything. Hmm. All right, uh, let me look around and see if there's somebody that I could find. And sure enough, he got on his horse and he started galloping to the Jewish part of the town. I shouldn't walk so fast with my horse. <laughs> oh, let me look around. Oh, that kid is very cute. Excuse me over there. What is that little boy's name? Oh, that boy over there, his name is Mandela. <laughs> Mandela! <laughs> I think I'll study him for a while. Yes, yes. Could you please not use that light over there? Thank you. I oh, thank you. <laughs> Very interesting. Aha! I like that idea. Hmm, Mandela, Mandela, Mandela. He could be the potential boy. Let me study him. And for a few days, he started studying him. And he watched him, whatever he did. He followed him around. And finally, he went back to Vladimir. So, Vladimir, I found the perfect child. Matter of fact, he's even blonde. Do you know that? And he has blue eyes, too. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I didn't see the child. Now, is he smart, kid? Oh, yes, yes, yes. He's very intelligent. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I could kidnap him for you. <laughs> ways. Yes, but it's going to cost you... How much are you talking? 100 rubles? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. This is a kid that I'm going to kidnap. You think they're going to let him alone? They're going to be looking for him. Uh, okay, 500 rubles. <laughs> I was thinking that you give me 5,000 rubles now, and when I bring the child to you, you... <laughs> Well, give me the other 500,000. No, no, okay, I'll be nice. 5,000. 5,000 now, 5,000 later. What do you say? You drive a hard bargain. But let me tell you something, you little gypsy. I want you to know that I, Vladma, have the sources to track you down. If this kid is not what you say he is, then I will have your head. <laughs> No, no, just have the rest of the money. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I assure you I won't run off without having the kid brought to you. Don't you worry. And sure enough, it was near Sukkah's time. His father bought an asterisk. He took Mendel along. I like that one. The pitam is big. It's good. Look, it got bumps on it. And the asterisk dealer was saying, Very interesting. This little boy, chicken's how old? Well, he's three years old. Three years old, and already he knows about the bombs and the asterisk. Uh, look, Tati, the orchids is pushed in. Uh, three years old, and he knows about the orchids and the pit. <laughs> look, Tati has a beautiful tower. A tower, also, you know? know. Oh, my goodness, a smart boy, smart boy, smart boy. And sure enough, what he did was, he went over, and he sold him a beautiful asterisk. And finally, circus came around. And then... The father said, eh. Okay, I'm going to the base of this now. I'm going to learn a little bit, okay? Is it all right with you? Yeah, Tati, you go in. Uh, could I play with the Lulav and Estrig in the sukkah? Uh, yeah, I guess you could, but remember. Don't. I know, so many years you told me, don't drop the Estrig. I won't drop it. All right, very good. If you say you won't drop it, I trust you. All right, and when I come home and I call you in, you have to come in and bring in the asterisk, okay? 
Okay, Tommy. Don't worry. Look, yesterday, what I do with the asterisk? Uh, yesterday, what you do with the asterisk? Oh, I remember. Yes, with the asterisk yesterday, uh, you put it back in the box. You wrapped it very nicely with all that gimp and gimp and whatever they call that stuff that they wrap it out. This is very good. All right, all right. Uh, uh, okay, I trust you. I'm going to learn now. Okay, enjoy. Now, where's that asterisk? And he picked up the asterisk. And he started smelling it. Then he picked up Lulu and the Esther, and he started shaking it back and forth and pretending he was in shul and doing the Nanuim. But then, all of a sudden, there was the gypsy. <laughs> now, let's see now. The father left. He went to the synagogue. <laughs> That's good. He probably went to study over there. He'll be gone for hours. <laughs> now, let me come into the sukkah here. Let me look around. Nobody sees. Good. Let me open up the sukkah door. <coughs> oh. <laughs> this is fantastic. I'm inside. The kid doesn't even notice me. And all of a sudden, he goes up behind the child and says, Hello there, Mandela. <laughs> Who are you, a boogie monster? <laughs> Not exactly. I'm a friend. You see, I knew your name, didn't I? Oh, uh, yeah, you knew my name, but everybody in town knows my name. But I know everybody, too. But you, I don't know you. And where is your yarmulke? Uh, oh, my, my yarmulke? <laughs> it must have fallen off uh, uh, when I came into the, to the sugar. One second. Oh, I forgot to put this beanie copter on. One second. <laughs> Okay, I got it on. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm wearing my yarmulke, okay? Um, you're wearing it inside out. All right, I'm wearing it inside out. <laughs> uh, how about now? Um, why are you wearing the yarmulke on your nose? Why my nose? How <laughs> You know, I don't have a mirror. Can I help you? Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, is it good now? Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to show you the door, and then you go outside. <laughs> Why should I go outside? Well, because you're a stranger. I don't know you. My Tati said I shouldn't talk to strangers. Well, I'm not a stranger. I knew your name, but I don't know your name. Uh, my name? Oh, 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 well, uh, my name is... Your name is a very long name. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, my name is uh, Maxwell. Maxwell? A funny name for a person that looks like you. Okay, anyways, uh, you'll have to go now because you're a stranger. <laughs> Look what I got for you. I got a kosher lollipop. <laughs> How do you like that? How do I know it's kosher? Look, I'm wearing a yarmulke. Yeah, but you wore it inside out, backwards and upside down and... Oh, listen here, you sonny boy. You are trying my patience. Uh, what a bit of trying your patience. Ah, well, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to put this lollipop back in my pocket. And I'm going to take out this from my pocket. <laughs> wow, a laundry bag. Oh, you're the new maid. You're going to come here to clean up. You're here to do the laundry. No, I'm here to clean up something else. Oh, what is it? I'm here to clean you up. <laughs> and he put the kid right inside. He put Mendy right inside this laundry bag. And he put his hands right over his mouth. <laughs> and then he ran out. He went onto his horse and he galloped away with this laundry bag. And then finally, the father, Chatzkala, came home. Hey, I did um bum bim bum. Okay, probably it's time to eat some lunch now. Uh, let me uh, see. Uh, 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 Sprinter, uh, did, uh, did um, 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 Mandela come inside? No, he's still outside in the sukkah playing with the S-Rig. Still outside playing with the S-Rig. All right, uh, Mandela, join Sats, come around. Come inside, Mandela. Time to come inside. Mandela, yo-ho, Mandela. Um, I don't see Mandela. Mandela, come inside. Where are you, Mandela? Oh, boy. This is not very good. Ah, boy. I'll go outside to the sukkah. Where do you think he is? I don't know. Maybe he fell asleep in the sukkah. Let me see. <coughs> oh. All 
right, Mandela, come, come. You have to go inside. We have to wash up. You have to eat lunch. Mandela, what's going on here? I see the ashrik is on the table. It's not even in the box wrapped up. And the lulav is just on the table. It's not wrapped up. What's going on here? Eh, Mandela, this is not like Mandela. It's not like Mandela. Eh, Sprintse, something happened to Mandela. He's not here. Oi, me! Oi, what are we going to do? And they both ran out in the streets and they started screaming, Mandela! 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 Eh, eh, Mandela! Hello! Hello, Mandela! What's going on over here? My Mandela, he, he's gone. Don't know where he is. I'll help you find him. I have a loud voice. Hello! Mandela! Mandela, where, where, where are, are, are you? Mandela! But they couldn't find Mandela. They called the police and the police... We're just relax a little bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find you, kid. Uh, let's see what he looks like. Okay, we'll look around. And of course, they looked around. And they couldn't find him in one day, a second day, a whole week. They had no idea that Mendela was kidnapped. But before we get back to Mendela, let's see what Valadnam did. Ah, hello there, my son. How are you? Ugh, you smell funny. Do you ever brush your teeth? <laughs> yes, I do. Why? You didn't brush it this morning. Anyways, I want to go home to my tati and mommy. <laughs> But you are home. I am your Tati. Oh, no, you don't look like him. What do you mean? Don't you like the way I look? No, you don't have a beard and pay us. I'm sorry. Now listen to me. I am your father now. If you don't believe me, go run home. All right, I'm going home. Uh, where am I? No idea where I am. What am I going to do? He had no idea what to do. And gradually, slowly but surely, this Mandela realized he had no place to go, no where he could go. He had no idea what the territory was. He didn't know where Valadma lived. And eventually, Valadma bribed him with giving him nice toys. And eventually, he began to forget about his Yiddish kai completely. Meanwhile, let's go back to Chatzkala. I raised me, it's a couple of months. I don't know where my son is, you know what? I'm going to see my Rebbe. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see my Rebbe. And sure enough, he went to see his Rebbe. He knocks on the door. <coughs> and the shaman says, Just a minute now, just a minute. <coughs> yes, what can I do for you? I, I need to see the Rebbe. It's an emergency. Oh! An emergency? The bathroom is over there. Not that kind of emergency! I have an emergency, emergency! And the rabbi heard what was going on. Ah, Schuldig mir, one second. Zayid in distress, send him in, come, come. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, Hatzkala, tell me, what's going on? Uh, I, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Uh, and I want to tell you that my son is a very smart little boy. And, and then uh, he was in the sukkah, and then... Uh, excuse me, I think you started to speak a little too fast. Maybe you could slow down a little bit. Uh, 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 okay, 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 I'll slow down. See, I have my son. The last thing he was doing, he, you know, my son likes mitzvahs. Yes, I see him when he's in shoe. Yeah, yeah, well, the last thing he did was he was holding the lulav and the esrik. He loves looking at the esrik, he loves to smell the esrik, he handles it very well for a little piece of the baby. I'm telling you, he handles it very well. Aha, uh -huh. so listen to me. I can't tell you when you're going to see your son again, but I can tell you. If you will sacrifice, if you will be moist and nefesh, that no matter what it takes, no matter what it takes, if you will make sure to buy a lulav and esrit every single year, you will have the schus to see your son again. I'll do it, I'll do it. 
And of course, the first few years was no problem. But then, in <laughs> 1914, there was a little problem. World War I broke out. And then when World War I broke out, these planes were flying all over the place. They had those little bit planes, you know. And they were dropping these little bombs here and there. And the soldiers were fighting. And you heard the guns going up back and forth. And it wasn't always good for the Eden. They were like trapped in between. Many times you heard stories about the Eden had to move this way and that way. But finally, the Russians, they were a part of the Allied forces at that time. And they took over the shtetl where he was. And people were talking, I want to be going to do, you know, it's coming, she kiss bouts, who is who he is. We need to have an Eshrig. Anybody know where we can get an Eshrig? Oh, actually, I heard that it's almost impossible to get an asterisk. It really is. But at that moment, Chatzkele started thinking, wait a minute, the rabbi said no matter how much it costs, no matter how it's tough it is, I have to sacrifice, have to be moist and effort to get an asterisk. I'm going to do that. Uh, come on, somebody must have heard of, of an asterisk somewhere. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard of an asterisk. But it's not going to be easy to get. Yeah, just tell me, where is it? I'll travel the whole world to get an asterisk. I heard that in the Stetzel of Matschke, in Matschke, it's under the German rule. Not too easy to get in there. If you can get in there, I heard they have a Sregum over there in Matschke. In Matschke? All right, not a problem. I can travel from Minsk to Matschke, no problem. I'm going to do that, not a problem. Oh, but, uh, but you might get caught. I, I cannot make myself in disguise. Okay, I need some shoe palace here, okay? Dark clothing, okay. Ah, there's the Russian guards. I know I have to distract them. I'll take this rock and throw it over there. <laughs> hey, what is that? I saw something over there. Hey, look, who's over there? And while the Russian soldier went over there, Kratzkel <laughs> ran the other way, and he was already on his way towards this Machka territory. And he comes to Machka, and there are German soldiers over there. Hans, very quiet evening. <laughs> yeah, very quiet evening. <laughs> yeah, was oh, cool. Nice weather tonight, too. Yeah, 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 I think. Uh, what, what, what? Did you hear that noise? No, no, I didn't. All right, it, it, it worked before. I'll throw a rock over here. What? <laughs> Ah, over there! Here, 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 okay, come. And they started running to where the rock sound was, and he snuck in. And finally, he comes to a moicha of a sreikim. Hello, shalom aleichem. Hey. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> what do you mean, who I am? I, 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 I'm, I'm Hatzkela. I, I, I want to buy an asterisk. You selling asterisk? Never in my ganze Leben ever, ever sold an asterisk to somebody dressed like a machine like you. Why am I dressed like a machine? You have this black stuff all over you, you have funny clothing, you're full of mud. What kind of person are you? Ah! <laughs> and, and he told him of his story. Oh, in that case, I will sell you a beautiful, beautiful S-ring. Okay, that's very good. You sell me a beautiful S-ring. And he sold him a beautiful S-ring. And he took this asterisk. Now, mind you, this asterisk was not pure yellow. It was still pretty heavily green. And he took it and he wrapped it up very carefully and he packed it. And it had a beautiful pitten. And then he got out of the German territory. And then, suddenly, he heard a sound. <laughs> he heard a motorcycle. And suddenly this motorcyclist hit a rock. <laughs> and he fell over and he got knocked unconscious. Wait a minute, you know what? I could take this motorcycle and I could drive back to town. And then when I get back to Minsk, what I could do is I could drop the motorcycle and sneak back in. A good idea. And sure enough, he went over to sneak inside. He got on his motorcycle. <laughs> And he finally got close to Minsk, and suddenly he stopped, and he got off. And he thought everything was fine, everything was perfect. 
And suddenly, as he was walking, he heard this strange noise. <laughs> Towards the end of World War II, they started to have tanks. At the end of World War I, sorry. At the end of World War I, they started to have tanks. And suddenly they heard something very strange. Excuse me over there, stop where you are. Uh, um, I'll pretend I don't hear him. Yeah. If you don't stop, I will blow you out of your shoes right now. Uh, he must have a bad call. He wants to blow me out of my shoes. Um, 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 uh, hello. Turn around slowly and I won't shoot. <laughs> oh my goodness. What kind of truck is that? This is a tank. New type of warfare. Now, who are you? Uh, uh, my name is um, Hatskela. Oh, and what are you doing out of the city? Wait a minute, were you dressed in camouflage? Maybe you're a spy. No, 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 I'm not a spy. I, I, I just went to buy an asterisk. A what? An asterisk, I went to buy an asterisk. Let me see what this asterisk is. Uh, Uri, you watch him, yes? Yeah, I watch him, don't worry. And sure enough, he goes to the box, he opens it up, and he looks at him. Hey! You smuggling bomb! I don't smuggle in a bomb. This is an asterisk. Oh, that's a hand grenade. Not a hand grenade. It's an asterisk. Oh, there's the pin. Must be modern. Must be modern bomb. New kind of pin. You pull up. No, 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 don't touch that. Aha! You said I shouldn't touch that. Why? You'll puzzle it. Oh, puzzle it. What does puzzle mean? Ah! I pull out the pin, it will explode. Ah, yeah. You see, that proves you're a spy. I'm going to bring you to the general. Come. But uh, you don't understand. Uh, uh, it's an asterisk. I have to shake little of an asterisk. Hello, hello, you can watch me. Hello. Don't tell me, Boba my sister. Is that what you Jewish people call it? Come with me. <laughs> okay, uh, don't push me. Take it easy. And he shoves him, and he gets there closer, and then he knocks on the door of the general. <laughs> and the general opens the door. <laughs> All right, what is going on here? I'm very busy. What's happening? Sir, we caught this spy. Spy? He doesn't look like a spy. He looks like he's Jewish. Since when does a spy have curly payas on the side? Ah, uh, by the way, why are you dressed up like this? It's a long story. If you have time, like about three hours, I can tell you the whole story. No, 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 no. Okay, why do you think he's a spy? What did he have with him? Oh, General, he had this bomb over here. And he was very uptight when we were about to pull the pin. A grenade? Let me see that. <laughs> what is so funny? You, soldiers, wait outside. But, but he could be a spy who could take a gun and shoot. If you didn't search him yet to take out any weapons he had, then I feel sorry for you. He's an old man already. You think I'm afraid of him? I'm a trained soldier. Wait outside. And they waited outside. They closed the door. And as they were outside, on the inside, the general looked at him and said, <laughs> I know you're not a spy. How do you know I'm not a spy? They didn't believe me. And I know it's not a hand grenade. Right, right. You know it's not a hand grenade? That's right. I know what it is. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> this is an asterisk, isn't it? Huh? You're a general? Yes. And you know it's an asterisk? Yes. You know something? When you opened the box and I looked at that thing, it brought back a memory for me from many, 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 many years ago. I have a small memory of me as a little kid. I don't know why, but I just remember looking at things like this in like a booth or something. A booth? You mean like a sucker? Yeah, yeah, well, 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 I mean, if that's what you call it. Yeah, a and, and? Well, I, I, I don't remember the rest. I mean, I don't know. I was uh, brought up by somebody and eventually sent me to military school and eventually I became a general and the war broke out and here I am. Uh-huh. Could I ask you a question, General? Sure, sure. Would you mind if you um, rolled up your sleeve a little bit? <laughs> Why should I roll up my sleeve? I want to see if you have a certain kind of birthmark. 
A birth mark? Sure I do. I have a birth mark on my arm. Here, let me show you. <laughs> this is it. Um, you know something, General? I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you're my son. What? What are you talking about? I'm a general. I'm telling you. And he started to tell him a whole bunch of things. And all of a sudden, his memory started to click back. And he remembered his first three years when he was a little baby. And remembered about the s -fig. Then he started to remember about that gypsy person who kidnapped him. And that was the last he remembered. And he realized, wow, so I am Jewish. And I'm your son. Have a great idea. Ah, you know what? Let's keep this a secret. I'm stationed over here. While I'm a general, I can be nice to you Jewish people. And then, when the war is over, I'll retire and I'll come back home. Then you could teach me everything that I missed. And sure enough, that's what happened. As long as that general was stationed there, it was good for the Jewish people in Minsk during World War I. And then after that, when the war was over, the general, true to his word, retired and he reunited and all because, like that Rebbe said, if you're moist and nefesh for the esrig that your son desired so much, you will be reunited again. And sure enough, he was. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of Yantif. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Rabbi Yitzi Erbs. Before we move on with the 12 psukim, I just want to make it very clear that the men and the boys should be on the left of the stage near Crown Street. Women and girls near Montgomery Street. Men, please go to the men's side. Women on the women's side. We want to continue with the program, but we have to keep it separate the way the Rebbe wants it. So, again, men and boys on the left side of the stage near Crown Street. Women and girls on the right side near Montgomery Street. You can go around either to the walkway behind the stage or behind the back of the women's section. Before we begin the 12th Sukkim, any children who are told that they will be saying a pasuk, who are already told that they will be seeing a puzzle to stand to the left of the stage, come right now near the bench, so you can be ready to be called up. We will be getting the 12 seconds shortly. Again, men and boys on the left side of the stage, near Crown Street, near Carroll Street. Women and girls on the right, near Montgomery Street. We would like to call up. Rabbi Shimon Hecht to lead us in the 12 Sukkim, Rabbi Hecht at the Schos, to lead the rallies, the Tzimus Hashem rallies for many years by the Rabbi. Good morning everyone, good morning. So we know when the, when the children would say to the Sukkim, by the rallies, the rabbi had a very, very big Nachas Ruach. And if you look closely at the rabbi's face, you would notice how the rabbi would say along the Sukkim with the children. And many times the rabbi would smile, see how beautiful and the chayis that the children, Chayala and Chayala, said the Sukkim with. So let's try to uh, reenact that again. We know on Yom Tev, Sukkis, we are visited by all the Shpizin, the Chassidus Shpizin as well, and therefore the Rebbe is here with us tonight, as always, looking upon us, and hopefully we can bring the Rebbe big smiles as we say to the Sukkim. So for the first Pasuk of Torah Siva, we'd like to call upon Muslim units, the leaders of the Pasuk of Torah, I want to hear all you loud after Mushka. Tyra! Siva! Lanu! My Raisha! Maisha! I know! Ma! <laughs> 
Oh, Let's do this all over again because muscular element stage fright. It happens to me many times. So now let's muscular try again. Let's go. Tyra, Tiva, Lanu, my Russia, Maisha, my Russia, Kilas, Yakov. Beautiful job, Muscular. Great job. Okay, and now for the passing of Shemaya so you like the call upon. Aaron Yosef Lazarov. Shema Yisrael Adinai Eleheinu Adinai Echad. Beautiful. Yes, I can. But how do you know you say by Sternus Sarah Zurkin? I want everyone loud after Sternus Sarah. Rachel. Der. Vader. Chayam. Adam. Leroy. S. Atmai. Kilu. Hu. Yata. Mtayam. Beautiful. Call your soul and now be recited by all of you. All of you. Oh, the whole crowd is going to say it. But Yerl Goldberg is going to lead us in the passage of Call your soul or the Mishnah. Call soul. Yes. Um. Kayla. Kayla. Haba. Shnema. Vyame. Kula. Sadiki. Kayla. Yeshu. Alright, Nature, Atai, Masse, Yadai, Inspire. Alright, you did a good job then, and especially uh, y'all did a good job leading us. For the next pass, we call upon the part of the King Karim. Ken Yogarevich is going to lead you all in the pass of King Karim. Let's go, all you got. Ki, Karim, Elaka, Hadavar, Meid. Befifka, Uvalaka, Lassai Sai. Beautiful. The Hine Hashem will now be recited by Shia Kof and Shneer Gazinski. will now be recited by so I know how to use this phone Voracious okay. will now be recited by Leia Kratz Voracious Bara I can Ace Smile Ace Beautiful. The Shinanta will now be led by Kalman and Aftali Shachat. Oh, guys, you guys are ready? Come on, you gotta jump up over. Together, the mic. Stand down a little bit. Together. The Shinanta. Lebanon. The Shinanta. The Shinanta. The Shinanta. The Shinanta. The Shinanta. What the hell? What's up, Alright, beautiful. Great job, guys. Your gaiety will now be recited by Tommy Pearl and Faggy Pearl. Yeah, guys. Hold on a second. Both together in the mic.
Beautiful, but something, uh, as I was listening to the crowd here, it sounds to me more like the parents are saying the Pesukim and not the children. It's very good that the parents are saying the Pesukim, but it's more important that the children say the Pesukim. So let's go, we have two of Pesukim left. Let's give it all you got, the Pesukim of... Well, after, actually, three Pesukim left. Well, now we recited by Shalom Ben Dubov and Levi Dubov. Yes, Sir, well, now we recited by Hannah Pill. Everyone, let's go give Hannah all you got. Vizer. Cow. Adam. Isaacless. Rasa. Vrias. Cow. Ailemais. Oyainim. Isaacainim. Vias. Lai. Zira. Zoo. Isaacain. So after I made my comments about this, no one used their hands anymore. After I made the comments about the parents say Pesukim, they stopped saying the Pesukim. So now let everyone, the last Pesukim, let everyone give it all you got. The Pesukim of Yismach will now be recited by Yisrael, Papa, and Levi, writes this. Let's go guys, all you got. I want everyone, every member of Sifta Shem, if you're not a member, become a member quickly. Every boy, every girl, everyone who's here in the crowd at this base, great simple base of Sheva, from Tashim Pei Dalit, the last part of Yisrael, let me hear you will say it real loud after Yisrael and Levi. Yes, Yisrael! 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 The Isa! Peyros! Shekhar! Me! Shehu! Misera! Yisrael! Yes, Loy, Ismaya, Isimchas, Hashem, Asher, Sas, Isamaya, Yerosai, Isachtainim, Yechiyan Neinu Meim Rabbeinu Ma'achum Shiach Olamoy, Yechiyan Neinu Meim Rabbeinu Ma'achum Shiach Olamoy, Yechiyat <laughs> Uh, like to uh, side commercial 
for Simchas uh, Beis Sheva, you know, nothing happens on its own, especially without money. So there's a charity going on right now. So if you can pull out your phones and go to charity slash SBH Simchas Beis Sheva and help us with a little, a lot, whatever you can, we greatly appreciate it. We want to remind everyone that it's Wednesday, there will be a rally in 770 starting at 2 o'clock as we have done for many, 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 many years. So once again, please join us on Wednesday 2 o'clock for the rally in 770. And now to get us more into the spirit of Simchat Beis HaSheva, we all know that one of the special things that took place by Simchat Beis HaSheva was the juggling of fire. So we have a special juggler. <laughs> yeah, we have a special juggler today, and you have to use the power of imagination when you look at him. So, uh, without further ado, let's go. Help enjoy increasing your simcha base of Oh, you know, you're good. Are right, you guys ready for a show? Are you ready for a show? Right. Let me introduce myself. My name starts with the letter K. It rhymes with P. My name is Mr. I can't hear you, Mr. That's right. Here's how it works. I'm going to start out. Ooh. We're going to start out with a joke. It's a standard type of joke. I say knock, knock. You guys do the right thing. Let's give it a try. Knock, knock. Yeah. Yahoo! Get a long little doggy. Yippee ki yay yay dun 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 I slipped on something. dun 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 I say dun dun dun, you say dun dun dun. There we go, that's enough of that. All right, you guys want to see some juggling? Say yes! Oh, I dropped one. Nobody noticed. I guess what? I'm going to have to eat one of these juggling balls. I haven't eaten my dinner. Watch closely. Eat. Ooh, that keeps happening. Eating one of the juggling balls. Here goes. Ready? And... But you know what? Nobody's impressed. Moving right along. We're not going to do four. How many objects? I can't hear you. How many? How many hands do I have? How many fingers do I have? No, I've got ten fingers. I'm just showing you fun. Right, here we go. Without further ado. Terrible lighting. The five ball juggling. Three, two, one. Oh, wait a second, it gets better. I'm going to take these five balls, I'm going to split them apart. And watch for the kick. And the big finale. The five balls juggling. The crowd goes wild. Absolutely wild. All right, up next. Hey, uh, what does this look like to you guys? A jump rope. My next trick is kind of like a jump rope, kind of not. Here is the jump rope part. Here is the knot part. Just call me Kung Fu Geek. One handed. People usually clap now. I don't know why. That's your cue. Hey, check it out. Even though it's a rope, I can spin it just like it's a stick. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? And watch for the kick. My favorite part. You're all getting very sleepy. You're going to hire me for your next party. All right, here's where it gets dangerous. One-handed over the head. You know what? It usually hits me right about ooh, now. I don't know. Look, mom. No brains. I mean, look, mom. No hands. The Chinese rope. 
the dental bills alone. I don't know the juggling part of the show. Here we go. A few places in the body. Under the leg. Under the arm. Behind the back. Over the head. Some spinny bits. All right, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to spin it right through the pack. Do I drop one? Nobody noticed. If I drop one, say nobody noticed. All right, here we go. Right through the pattern. Up. And here we go. Big spin oh, oh, wait a second. My impression of a sad... Here, cut the music for a second. My impression of a salmon swimming upstream. You guys know what a salmon is, right? Yeah, it's a fish. You make lots out of it. We'd like to ask you to wait for a second. All parents, all parents, please move behind the children so the children could see. So the Ooh. children should not pile up along the stage. We have cameras and equipment here. We will ask, please, the parents, please move behind the children. Thank you. Make, Keith, you may continue. Thank you, sir. Here we go. My impression of a salmon swimming upstream. Up. You see what I did there? Next up, the ninja juggling. Whoa, nobody noticed. No, you don't need to clap for that. All right, here we go. One more than you usually see a clown like me juggle. The four club juggling. First, the easy way. You guys want to see the hard way? Here we go. Oh, that is hard. Right into the light. You guys want to see the very hard way? Say yes. Here we go. The very hard way. All right, next up, something from a foreign country, something you guys probably recognize. This is called a Chinese yo-yo. As you can tell, it's different from a regular yo-yo, not only in size, volume, and weight, but it's not attached to us. The string, this allows you to throw and catch it. Hey, check it out. Chinese yarmulke. Yes, sell them all over Chinatown. Oh, here we go. Once again, it's spinning. You learn how to throw and catch it. Once you learn how to do that, you do it different places in your body. Like, under the legs. Once you learn the under the leg, it's even slightly more difficult. Under the arm. Here it goes. Once you learn the under the arm, behind the... I can't hear you. Behind the... All right, here we go. Three times in a row. Behind the back with this funny hat on. Here it goes. One, two, three. Right, here we go. Here's a new trick. Hopefully I don't mess it up. One, two, three. All right, here we go. Anybody ever hear of a trick called Cat's Cradle? Now, here we go. I'm going to make it special. Double Cat's Cradle. Here goes. And up. All right, here we go, last trick. Then we're gonna do something cool with the yo-yo. Last trick, here it goes. Up. But wait, there's more. I got a brand new yo-yo to show you. This one's a little different. It doesn't have any sticks, and it's got a skateboard and wheel in the middle. We call this the Snickless Yo-Yo. Up! Up! Alright, I got a question for you guys. Are you ready to enter the Matrix? Say yes! Here we go, three, two, one! And 
All right, up next, something not exactly made for juggling. Something you guys may recognize. Some of you guys might have played this over the summer. Help me out, anybody know what these are? Yeah, they're not soccer balls or hockey clubs. These are tennis rackets. They're used for playing. They're not used for. I am now going to attempt to juggle, but not made for juggling. Tennis rackets, here goes. And, up. Here we go, first trick. Double high in the air. Next up, double high the hard way. And a few places in the body, under the leg, under the arm, behind the back, over the head. The tennis record. I got another trick to show you guys here. Usually I do this with a volunteer. I'm going to take this everyday Rubbermaid container. I'm going to place it on that stick. I'm going to balance it on my chin for 10 seconds. Here's what I want you guys to do. When it gets on my chin, can you guys help me start counting? Yeah, we're going to count, we're going to count up to 10. Let's give it a try. There we go. First thing I'm going to do is spin it on my finger. And getting it up on the stick. All right, I'm going to balance it on my chin for 10 seconds. Here we go. And I'm going to break three laws of physics, one law of entropy, and one law of thermodynamics. Here goes. And up. He did it anyway, the bowl spinning. The crowd goes wild. They go absolutely wild. Right, here we go, something from a foreign country. Something you maybe haven't seen before. Hey, what does this look like to you guys? Yeah, a lot of people think it looks like a basketball net, or maybe a big skirt. Here's what it looks like. Oh, sometimes it looks like a jellyfish. Sometimes it likes to crawl around my body. Sometimes it gets tangled with my microphone, but I'm going to keep that from happening. Sometimes it likes to go in the air. And behind the back. All right, I'm now going to attempt to spin it using just one finger. I'm going to sing it. Here we go. Ready? And one finger. I'm going to get inside the circle. Inside the circle. And three, two, one. All right, pretty good. Oh, you know what? I know what kind of audience. Oh, oh, wait a second. You guys want to do something fun? You want to do the chicken? All right, I'm going to shoot this rubber chicken out to the crowd. We're going to see what happens. Please try throwing it back after I shoot it out there. <laughs> throw it back. Oh, that was a good throw, buddy. All right. Let's give that guy a big round of applause. Good job. That was just for fun. All right, you guys want to see? Is there any way we can cut the music just for a second? Maybe? Can we just cut the music just for a second? We'll, we'll turn it back on. You guys want to see something dangerous? Say yes. Anybody know what this is? This is not a snake. This is a six-foot whip. If you are familiar with our recent pandemic, six feet is how far you keep away from people. Here's what I use for social distancing. I want to teach you guys something very important. It's called earmuffs. Let me see you do this. All right, keep it like that. Here's what I use for social distancing. Guess what? I used it at Stop and Shop. Nobody was happy with me. Hey, you guys want to see me juggle something dangerous? Say yes! Yeah. Alright, I have right here for your entertainment pleasure, my very patriotic, my very real, stainless steel. Listen folks, that's real steel, made in America just like me. You guys want to see me start the easy way or the hard way? The hard way or the very hard way?
That means I take this razor sharp knife, kick it up into the air, go into the knife juggling. Yeah, we can have some music. There we go, years of practice. Nobody cares, thank you very much. You guys want to see the same trick backwards? Say yes. Same trick backwards. Yeah, they fall for that every time. I'm coming around, I'm going to do my most dangerous trick. Figure it out. And the big finale. One, two, three. Like in between the tricks, that'd be great. Yeah, in between with those stuff. Hey, I'm gonna make this even more difficult because I'm gonna juggle three different objects, making it three times more difficult. I have one deadly juggling knife. I have one brain massager. And my last object, the deadliest object of them all. Wait, where did it go? Thank you. It's one very old, very used, rather disgusting. Yeah, I got it from McDonald's, a billion served. Hey, you guys wanna see me make this trick even more difficult? Say, we're going to make this trick even more difficult. I'm going to do it on top of this, my broken skateboard. But you know what? You guys aren't going to see that from down there. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it on top of this, my juggling trunk. All three objects on the broken skateboard, on the juggling trunk. Hey, before you ride your bike or do your skateboarding, what comes first? Safety first. I got my helmet right here. It's a doozy. All right, what do you think? How do I look? Yeah, that's what I thought. Music, please! All right, or no music, that's fine. All right, sometimes people say this trick might even be impossible. Oh, all right, hold on. I got this. All right, I'm up. That's a good start. All right, it's not going to last long. I do this trick. The crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. I said the world! Alright, we got a couple more tricks for you. We're gonna do some light-up tricks. Anyway, we can dim the lights at all, my friend. Anyway, we can turn the lights down at all. Let's talk to that guy. You guys wanna see something incredible? Now you know. Yeah. Anyway, we can dim them a little bit. Yeah. We're going to see if we can dim the lights. All right, while they're doing that, I'll juggle the light up ball. You think yes or no? You going to give it a try? Yeah, go ahead, give them a try. So, uh, turn them down a little bit. You can even turn them off for a second and turn them back on if that works. I think, I think they're getting to them. We're just doing this while they warm up. Oh, he's got to lower it. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, just turn them all off. Yeah, that's going to be better. Yeah, I'll just keep doing that. All right, awesome. You want... All right, I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I see those a lot better. What do you... Should we do five of them? Yeah, why not? Here we go, five light up balls. I should have practiced, here goes. Nobody noticed, nobody noticed. All right, you guys want to see something incredible? Say yes. You guys want to see something awesome? Say! There we go, something awesome. I gotta get to the right setting. That's not it. That's it. Check it out, it makes waffles. See, it kind of looks like waffles. And peacock feather! Why does it make a peacock feather? It comes from China, that's why. I have a question for you kids out there. Can anybody see a rainbow? Can you see a rainbow? Yeah, taste the rainbow. And 3D, 3D.
Alright, now there's only one thing better than incredible. Oh, I already did that. You guys want to see something extra awesome? Uh, let's see if it's going to work. These ones are a little fuzzy. Yeah, oh, there it is. I was working. Oh, there it goes. I'm a rainbow. I'm a rainbow. I'm electric. I'm electric. Oh look, fire! That's fake fire, folks! That's not real! That was fake! Did you guys see the fake fire? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't real, it was fake! Oh look, I think that's like stained glass! Oh, you're getting my picture! I think you got my good son! Alright, I think I'm almost done! And sir, cut the music! Because that's the end, and then we can have the lights back on. Lights, please! Hey, uh, I was with uh, Sergo Draco. My name was Keith. That was my amazing light up juggling show. You guys were my amazing audience. Give yourselves a big round of applause! And happy holidays, everybody! Bye bye! Thank you so much to Keith. Everyone give Keith a round of applause. Thank you. And we are about to begin the music and the dancing for the Simcha Space Sheva. But before any music will be played, all the women and girls will be going to the back where the women's section is for the rest of the night. There's an entrance to the women's section by Apple Drugs as well as by first quality women and girls turn around towards the back there's an entrance to the women's section by first quality products as well as apple drugs the music will not begin until all the women and girls are in the back and all the men are in the front all the children who are standing in front of the stage should go to their respective areas All the men in the back should leave the women's section. All the men in the back should leave the women's section and go to the men's section. Again, all women, mothers and girls, there's two entrances in the back to the women's section by eat either store. Go to the back. All women and girls, please go to the regular women's section. All men to the men's section. All women and girls, please go to the back. All the men come to the men's section so the women can enter. There's an entrance for either section by Apple Drugs as well as by First Quality Products. Yep.
We are about to begin the music and the dancing again. All women and girls in the back. All the men in the front. There should not be any women in the men's section and no men in the women's section. Mothers over here to my right, please go to the women's section. Take your children to the women's section. We are about to begin, all women to the back, please leave the men's section. All men, please leave the women's section and make room for the women to come in. All men in the back, all of you, all the men in the back, please come to the men's section. Oh, yeah, la 
Hey, I'm a 
בסוכות. תן קיובר עם אש לנגן החסידי שלנו, טומי מנדי גדסי. יישר כוח לזמר האגדי, האגדי, הטומי מנחם ברוך ורדי, יישר כוח גדול. We are right now holding a charity campaign in order to cover the cost of Simcha's Beis Sheva tonight as well as for the entire week of Sukkot. So we are asking everybody in the crowd to take out your phone and go on charity.com. Charity, C-H-A-R-I-D-Y.com forward slash SBH and go and donate and be mishtatif in Simchas Beis Sheva and join us in making this possible for all the guests that are here and all the Kronites residents Men, women, and children, please take out your phones. We are holding right now at $16,000, and we are asking everybody to please join us and be mishtatif and help us continue Simchas Beis HaSheva. Thank you very, very much. Oh, my God. 
Oh, 
Before we begin the final part of the evening with Rabbi Yossi Cohen, everyone can put on your phone and put in charity.com forward slash SBH C-H-A-R-I-D-Y dot com forward slash SBH. We are having a charity campaign to fund tonight Simchas Basis Sheva as well as the rest of the week. We are holding by $17,086. Let's see if in the next three minutes we can hit 18,000. If everyone just pick up your phone, put in charity.com, C-H-A-R-Y-R-I-T-Y dot com forward slash S-B-H. Put in 10, 18, 36, 50, whatever you feel fit to join and help fund tonight and every week's Simchas Beis Sheva. Before we begin, just one more time, very quickly open up your phone. You can do it with Cash App as well. SBH 5784 in order to keep this continue going. While you are going on your phone to donate, we would like to thank our corporate sponsors for tonight and the whole week, Simchas Beis Sheva. First of all, let's give a round of applause to Rabbi Yossi Cohen. And Machin Stam, Go Forward, Chabad of Connecticut, CEO Alive, Mask Parents, Railroad Pizza, Pita Pina, Eagle Prep, Sassman Jewelers. Again, charity.com forward slash SBH. Anything that you put counts and will help because this is something that we all want to happen because this is something that the devil wants to happen. We'll just give one more minute for everyone to fill it in and then we will begin.
At this time, we would like to thank the NYPD for securing the event. And as per their request, please clear up the streets so they can reopen the traffic. מבקשים בבקשה לפנות את הכבישים, כולם לעלות למדרכות, שיוכלו לפתוח את הכביש לתנועה. חנניה משה קריאף מתבקש להגיע לבמה. Once again we will ask everybody to please get onto the sidewalks so the NYPD, the NYPD can reopen the streets for traffic. Chevre, we ask that you do it in a beautiful way, that you do the Lord's name, and that you will come to the streets so that the police can open the streets. 